Saskia will remain an enslaved monster through your wickedness. You deserve to die. Even if you reach Triss, you will not free her. Sure I will. I'll trade Shillard for her. And what will Yorvath say when he learns you abandoned Saskia? You worry about what he'll do to you. I doubt he'll see your blindness as sufficient punishment. Do you think Marigold's innocent? You have no right to judge her. Goodbye, Eilhart. Move your ass, Excellency. This is preposterous. What do you aim to achieve? I want to see Triss. How did you get in here? Put that sword down. Only after I cut your throat. The choice is yours. I know of a tunnel. Then you can be my guide. It's the tunnel to the left. You make an exceptional guide. Go. Get One the false commander! Move and your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you ask them to, Excellency, and I believe you will. Reynold F. Madsen's orders come from the Emperor himself. He'd rather die than give you very gold. Then he'll die. No, mark my words. You will. Unless you release me. It's not too late. You're boring me. Pick up the pace. Why do you care for that sorcerer so much? Go. Out of the way, all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him. For we shan't move one bit. Renwald! He who brings me the Witcher's head will get the Order of Merit. But Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your Excellency. Orders from the capital. Now I'll have to kill you all. What are you waiting for? Get him!
Leave the Emperor! Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud! Kill him! Imperial Army's ranks are endless! Congratulations, Witcher. They were my best men. You should have picked them more carefully, or trained them better. Or perhaps they were ready for any foe but you. Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? There are things you and your kind will never comprehend. And what are those? Friendship. Tell me, is the friendship of traitors and conspirators worth it? What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. How do you know that? From the best possible source. She confessed. And how did you convince her to do that? By showing her the confessions of other Lodge members. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you the Empire's true power. Surround him! Eliadio, Archiseas! Men in Ada Thea. Yeah! 
God! Long live the Emperor! Shame to the Empire! Shield bearers, forward! Die, Nordling! Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. I traveled half the world to find you. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. I'd slaughter half the Nilfgaardian army for a friend. I know you're a member of the Lodge, Triss. How do you know of the Lodge? Does it matter? I also know the Lodge was behind Demaven's assassination. Geralt, I... I trust you. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. 
to the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... <sighs> Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philippa's not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. Demavend hated mages. No more than Henselt or Radovid. Sheila and Philippa saw Demavend as the weakest ruler. His son, Stannis, blows hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the north. So it was in Edirne that a popular rebel emerged, preaching the idea of a new state. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious, but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. If only I'd learned that, everything could have been different. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the Witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything? I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edirne. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I met the troll who fell in love with you. He saved me. Tended to my wounds. But when he started treating me like a caged canary, I fled. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letha wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Muin. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few orans. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorveth? The Scoyatel were Saski's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demavent's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. 
killing Dem event was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltes died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain, Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. Philippa controlled Saskia with her spells. Figures. The woman's a control freak. She miscalculated by coming to Loch Muin. Radovid had her imprisoned and then blinded. That's impossible. I was there. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanab Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Isleheart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. Those Nilf Guardians, that's your work? They followed their leader too blindly. You killed them all? They didn't slaughter themselves. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. The Lodge remembers too. Rest assured I won't let anyone compress me again. Some of the sorceresses will be surprised to see you. Watch them closely. Don't worry, I'll manage. See you at the talks. Alright. <laughs> 